Hello and welcome to part 6 of the Staines Massive Challenge on Football Manager 2018. As you can see we are top of the league with 13 games remaining. After two defeats in the last episode to St Albans and Truro away who are both near the bottom of the league which was disappointing. Um, we've come back with a fine victory over Wildstone. Um, our tried and trusted first team came back. Look at those average ratings. We absolutely battered Wildstone. And if you look at the league table, you see at the time Wildstone were fifth, so we've knocked them down to eighth. Um, and we've extended our lead over Hereford, who lost in their last game, to four points. So we've got a four point lead. And if we now look at the schedule, go back to the schedule. In this episode, we've got the local derby, the derby that we featured in one of the earlier episodes, Hampton and Richmond away followed by Maidenhead at home. Two big, big games. Since you were last with me, we've brought in another sign-in. Matthew Lowe has come in. Um, I'm going to use him as a ball-winning midfielder. Um, he's come in with a three-and-a-half star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential. If you look at the report, um, above Miller Rodney and Daniel Brown, so that may be something that I need to look into. Um, Hatton as a box-to-box -box. It's not really going to be that sort of man, so I'm going to revert Hatton back to a ball midfielder and Lowe will come in and he will be the backup. So let's get into this first game, Hampton and Richmond away. It's a chance for us to build again. Again this, this episode will feature, I didn't actually realise, but Hampton and Richmond are 19th in the league so we should, we should be winning this game. Okay, so we're odds on favourites. Let's just have a look here. So Hatton's in as the ball winning midfielder. Brown's there. Lowe's not yet match fit. Warsfold needs to come back in as my wing back. He was suspended, picking up the 10 bookings as we featured in the last episode. So here we go. It's pretty much tried and trusted formation. And um, the only absentee is Sessegnon who's suspended. So in goal, grand in goal with Kortak, Keen and Ford as my centre halves. Warsfold and Brewer as my wing backs. Hatton as the ball winning midfielder. Brown as box to box. And up front, it's the usual three that have built up a great rapport by the looks of things Buchanan, Hippolyte, and Barnard. Let's get into this game. This is one after the last episode, anything can happen. Here we go. Okay, everything's in your hands, it stands. Can you come and become self champions? Today's the day, it's up to us. Um, um, yeah, Ebanks plays. Uh, Matt Sharp misses short of right. Here we go. So we need a big win here. We need to start well. We need to take our chances. So early doors. Seems all square. Hampton and Richmond are dominating possession. Now we are. We're looking to try and get some early attempts on goal here. We've, got, we've had one so far. Billericke in third are winning, they're beating Dartford at home. We have a highlight. Is this going to be one of ours or is it theirs? It's theirs. Brown's in and he misses woefully. That's fine. We'll take that. It's Derby day, so it's a bit of a slow start. You can't expect too much too soon. It's all a bit frantic, early doors. Hereford are losing. They're losing to Western Supermare away, 1 0. This does us a favour if we can capitalise. It's very slow so far from us with two shots, none on target yet. We are dominating possession with 54%. The front three are non-existent by the looks of things. Two of them are booked, which is not ideal. Again, another slow start to the episode. Very slow start, not ideal. Plug and play tactic it just shows you that sometimes things can still go against you. It may be the recent update that's come through. Yeah, my front three have dropped to 6.4 ratings, all three of them. But it's a game of two halves. We look to see what we can what we can do here, what we can achieve. We'll give it 15 minutes. Okay, we've got corner Hatton, Coulter, Buchanan. Oh. Deflected and cleared. 
Still no attempts registered on target as yet. Brown's not having a very good game and the front three are not having a good game so far. Okay, we need to... Well, Walsfold is injured and I didn't put the full back on the bench. Oh, okay, so I'm going to make a drastic, drastic change. I'm going to bring... Hamilton for Walsfold. Swap Hamilton with Buchanan. Just stick him out wide because I literally have nobody else. And Hamilton can swap with Hippolyte. Um, and then we're going to give Mitt Rodney a go in place of Hatton, but swap him with Daniel Brown because Hatton's already booked. Okay. <clears throat> Two changes. Let's see if that influences the game. So Buchanan is forced to play out wide. They've got an attacking free kick. Can we deal with it? Can we defend well? Uh, we've left space over the bar. We'll take that all day long. That's fine. Buchanan's dropped to 6.3, but that's expected. We still have not registered a single shot on goal. 20 minutes to go. Let's make our final change. I'm going to give Clayton a go. Can he play there? Advance forwards, yeah, we'll give him a go there. Okay, confirm. That's my three subs. 20 minutes to go. We need to try and register a shot on target. It would be nice. Yeah, Buchanan's not having a good game out wide, but he's got to do a job in this one for us. Hippolyte picks the ball up. Miller Rodney, who's recently on and booked by the looks of things. Claydon out wide, Hippolyte into Miller Rodney, Claydon, what can he do? Brewer with a cross, Hippolyte, no. The angle was too tight, still not a shot registered on target. We're dominating possession, but in the minute, well, here we go, we have a corner and our centre half is taking it again, and there's the goal! We are mugging Hampton and Richmond, officially. Corner comes in. Goalkeeper does well to parry the first effort from quarter, but there is Ford to mop up at the back post and score. We have another highlight straight from kickoff now. Can we deal with this? Buchanan loses the challenge. No, 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 no. Sloppy goal to concede straight after we've scored. What is going on here? As you can see, Buchanan misses his challenge. To be fair, it's a great effort. The goalkeeper, the goalkeeper was all beaten, all ends up. Centre forward takes one touch, hits it early. Okay, can we capitalise on another corner? Oh, we've hit the crossbar. Hit the crossbar is unlucky. Another highlight. Is this going to be ours? Yes, it should be. Quarter, square to forward. Clayden misses, doesn't win the challenge. They're breaking on us again. They've got a man over, Brown. Can we deal with it? Granger, yeah, we can. <clears throat> what does Granger do with it? Roll it out, roll it out. No, blast it upfield. And they've won the second ball. Well done, we've won the challenge. Right, Hippolyte, he's in, he's in. What can he do? Nothing. It's unfortunate, it's not good. Last couple of minutes, we'll take a draw away. Despite the fact that these are games we should be winning. But in light of uh, our problems, the left wing back will take it. This should be it, unless we can create a, an opportunity late on. Miller Rodney, Hamilton. No, broken down. Hopefully, that should be it. Yeah, quarter mops up, clears the ball. Yeah, that's it. One all. Not ideal. Once again, it's the last two episodes. We've picked up one point from three games. Deal. Let's see the results. So, believe it or not, we've extended our lead over Hereford to five points. Hereford lost away at Western Supermare 2-1. That does us a favour and we move forward to the next game. OK, here we go. This is the second game of the episode. Grandeur in goal. Keane, Ford and Quarter. Milaneve and Brewer as my two wing backs which are both my backups Hatton as a ball winning midfielder Miller Rodney as a box to box with Buchanan, Clayton and Barnard 
We need get to get back to win winning ways. We're five points clear, but we need to try and to extend that as much as we can. So we need to start well in this game. They're through. Done well. Quarters played it off for the attacker to win a goal kick. We're looking for another early goal at some point, or at least shots on target, which would be nice. Ten minutes in, it's all square. Another slow start. Okay, we've had our first shot, and that's on target. Twenty minutes in approach, and that's two with two on target. No highlights as yet. What can we make from this? They've got a goal kick. Can we deal with it yet? Keen to Hatton. Looks like the ball through to Claydon's on, but no. <clears throat> Claydon's got it now. Goalkeeper makes a save. That's three with three on target. We've had one clear cut opportunity and three half chances so far. Miller Rodney with the corner. Keen. And there's the goal from the near post. Unmarked. Well worked set piece. I haven't touched the set pieces at all in this tactic. I've left it as it is. Miller Rodney, there is Keane on the volley. Near post, good finish from the centre half. Okay, we're now dominating. Four shots, four on target. Need to build on this. Pick up a win. Okay, they're in behind. Brewer, well done on the cover. Can we deal with it again? No, we can't. They've won the second ball again. A lot of second balls are being are being lost in this tactics, I have to say. I know the quality of the players is not great. <clears throat> As you can see, the ball's half cleared from the centre forward. The centre back's got to do better there. He really has got to do better to deal with that. To try and at least put a challenge in on the on the, the centre forward. It doesn't matter, that man's popped up, another set piece, floated into the back post this time. And there's Elliot Buchanan, who scores again. Hatton with the corner, floats into the back post, Buchanan rises, beats the defenders. That's 2-1. Back in front, back in charge. This is a much better half for us, compared to the last game. Six shots, five on target. Player ratings are better than last week. Last week. So much better than last week. No, it's um, player ratings are better than the last game, I should say. But they've got another attack. Well done, Ford. Buchanan picks up the second ball. We've won a second ball for a change. It's always nice. Hatton squares it to Brewer. Barnard, what can he do? Gets his cross in. Buchanan. Again, the angle's too tight. Hits the post. It's unlucky. We're doing well so far. Claydon's not doing great, but I'm going to stick with him. His parent club are giving me a lot of grief at the moment. He's not playing regularly. I have told him I don't think that he's good enough. That was compared to the three that I've already got, but they've broken us again on the counter. What was that? That was woeful. But again, we don't mind. They can do that all day long. Okay, so we're coming up to half time. Yep, yeah, that's half time. Seven shots, five on target. 52% possession. We're doing well. Um, we've asked them, we've encouraged them, we've told them they're favourites for this game for a reason to get out there and, and win the game. Let's hope that these players are inspired to, to do better again in the second half. To at least win the game. Because three points is all important as we approach the remaining 10 11 games of the season. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. All oh, the big games today, I didn't realise. Hereford are playing second v third, and third place Billericay are beating Hereford as, as it stands. And there's another goal for Keane. Another goal. Did Keane get the earlier goal? But again, that's our third goal from set pieces. Millenieve, Keane with the header. Does Ford? No, Ford misses it. Yeah, that's his second goal of the game, Keane. From set plays, three set pieces, three goals. Again, I haven't touched them. I have not touched the set pieces from the tactics since I've installed it. Plug and play, don't forget. I've not made any changes to the tactic at all. 3-1. Can we pick up a fourth so we can make some changes? Barnard. 
Good ball. Willow Lee switches the play, gets his cross in. No, and they've won the second ball again. Can we deal with their attack? Can we break things up? Not as it stands. Yes, ball down, Willow Lee, quarter, goalkeeper, get rid. Second ball's won again. And they in. Oh, he's at the post roof. Oh, dearie me, we're creating our own problems here. We're not picking up the second ball when we should. Look at the space he's got. He's not put under any pressure at all. Swing the ball in. Free header. The defence is nowhere. Okay, let's make some changes while we can. We need to stop these players out wide. But there's not much that we can do. Right, okay. Ebanks Blake's coming on for Barnard. He's not having a good game. Uh, Brewer's not having a good game. So the Loney Powell who are signed as cover is going to come in and play and then in midfield Daniel Brown is going to come on for Hatton Hatton's having a great game but he's 76% fitness and we need legs actually I'm going to undo that I'm going to change Brown for Miller Rodney keep Hatton on put Brown there let's see how we go that's three changes Right, straight from the kickoff, 3-2. We've got 22 minutes to go. Buchanan's in down the left. What can he do with it? Crosses, Ebanks, Blake. The journeyman pops up. Excellent from the restart. Fantastic ball from the back. Ford picks it up, plays it to Keane. Keane, with his two goals, plays an excellent ball over the top to Buchanan. Crosses to the back post and Ebanks, Blake, unmarked. That's 4-2. That's been a particular highlight of this tactic ever since it's been installed. Check out in the description, it's the NAP, one of the NAP's tactics. Hereford now losing at home 2-0 to Billericay. We have to see where that takes Billericay, if it takes them above them or catches them. It doesn't really matter for us, it extends our lead hopefully. Six points, so Billericay are now above. Hereford on 59, we're on 65, Buchanan's in, forces a save from the goalkeeper, much better performance from us today, Walt Keane was sniffing there for his hat-trick, they dealt with it this time, Claydon, Keane, Brown, Ebanks, Blake, Claydon, no, needed to pop it off wide to Buchanan but he, he was tackled before he could, 13 shots, 9 on target here, 51% possession, Set pieces have killed Maidenhead today. That should be it. Hatton's been our outstanding in the midfield with a 9 rating. Keane's going to be the man of the match with his two goals. Can he get a third? No, Claydon. And that's full time. That's an important victory. We finished the episode with four points from the two games. Ideally we wanted six, but we'll take that. That's an excellent result for us. Now we extend our lead to six points with 10, 11 games of the season left, 11 games left. Um, yeah, and we've got a su far superior goal difference, as you can see, 35 compared to Billericay and Hereford with 22 and 27 respectively. We kick on, so we've got a six-point gap. We've got a little bit of a cushion we can look to, to build with. And uh, yeah, so it's looking good. It's looking far better than the last episode, which is the main thing. And please hit that like button on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Um, for more Football Manager content, Monday to Friday, the Stains Massive Challenge. Thank you very much for watching.